Florida, they were they almost missed the playoffs, and now you look at what they're doing and the way it played out last night. Um, that's just magical. I mean, the fact that Matthew scores with four seconds left is yeah. magical. I mean, that's what it is. It's just one of those runs where everything is going their way. You know, like yeah. everything breaks their way, and, and Bob had himself a night. Again, he's had himself a remarkable run. Kachuk is the epitome of clutch. Bennett's the most feared guy in the league. Man, you know, oh, man, was that a hit, Nonstop. Oh, oh, that's man. a massive, great hit. Like, that's a knock the wind out of you and knock you into next week type of hit, which, you know, you, you obviously hope Slavin's okay, but he didn't jump. He didn't get his elbow up. He just that's he went right through That's the best right hit I've him. seen in five years, I think. Yeah. I, I, I don't know how else you could describe – like, if you put in a video dictionary the way to hit and, and catch a guy by surprise on the forecheck, it's that right there. We obviously do you, don't want to see anyone get hurt, but. Do you, do you guys remember, like, that reminded me of Sveshnikov on Lindholm a year ago. The exact same hit. Remember, Lindholm was coming around the net like that, and Sveshnikov destroyed him. If you go back and look at it, that hit, that shoulder, yeah, it looks like maybe their heads click. But that is – that was uh, – I felt bad for him. Like it's right that's, through it. It's like a running was... back coming around a, a tackle and there's a linebacker just waiting yeah. for him. And oh, it's oh. just – you know, he's on the ice. He's got the puck. You know, it's just a massive, massive collision. And, like, Bennett is not a big dude. No, he's not, not a big guy. He just – he's so sturdy and he, he – you know, we always use this term. He plays for keeps. That's yeah. what he's looking to do. And cool. like people in Toronto hate him, people in Carolina hate him. I would guess people in Boston hate him, and yet he's he's going I to think a cup everyone final. Everyone hates him except yeah. us. Everyone Until hates him your unless team. you're a Panther fan. That's well, right. Well, if he's on your team, you love him. But exactly. If you, you you like he's a guy you don't want to play against because you're right. Like he's he's doing what it what it takes to to go deep into the playoffs. And the thing is, is He's a unique guy because he plays a top six role. We usually see those guys who are more physical, they're more feared in a bottom six role. And that's why it's 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 unique. Tom Wilson's a unique guy. Evander Kane's a unique guy because they're top six players that play with bite. Usually we see top six guys that are more skilled, a little bit, you know, a little bit shy, that type of stuff that, that like to play a fancier game. He doesn't play a fancy game. It's meat and potatoes with him, and yeah, he comes That's kind of how they're all wired. Like Bar- Barkov is not, you know, he's not a meat and potatoes. He's, no, he's just no. a great, smart player. Verhage, Dude, the same thing. Duclair speed. Dr- you see Barkov during the pressers? He literally just sits there like this. <laughs> no pulse. Nothing. Not, yeah. Nothing. Well, he doesn't need to have personality because well, no. Kachuk's got it all, right? Like Matthew Kachuk. Matthew Kachuk, I understand he's a different beast. And right. not everyone is going to be wired like this, obviously. And he comes from a family where everyone knows the Kachuks. Keith Kachuk was vocal and fun, and you know he'd say what was on his mind. But this is how he was in Calgary, right? This idea that athletes and hockey players, they can't step outside the box, or they won't, or they don't want to say the wrong thing. He'll say whatever he wants. Whenever he wants, he did it in a Canadian market. He's doing it in Florida. And, yes, Florida's different because of the media, but not anymore. If you're in a conference final, the media's there. Everyone's there. Yeah. There's there's dozens and dozens of people in your face constantly. The biggest sports networks in North America are in his face all the time. He never turns down an interview. He he never gives you a cliche answer. He, he's always – and obviously it's easy to do it now because it's a dream run. For him, I right. get it. You know, if, if they get swept in the cup final, I wouldn't expect them to be Mr. Jovial, obviously. But he is he is proving that if you got a personality and you can back it up on the ice, show it. Go have fun. Go do it. Say what's on your mind. Talk a big right. game. Have some fun. He's got one-liners. The guy's – it's just incredible what he's doing. Yeah. And I mean, scoring, scoring overtime goals and pointing to the, pointing to the door. Like he scored an yeah. over, like that's a pretty the first two on the road. It's it's pretty funny. Like you know, and they, he gets interviewed afterwards, and what did you say to the boys? Like bus and ten, he said. Like he, yep. he's got. You're right. It's 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 jokes and enjoying yourself when you're on the winning side. But this guy's. It seems like that team is enjoying it, and so they should. I mean, I I'll be honest. I thought it was a bit of a soft call. 
Like you, you can't make that call at that time of the game. Like I, I don't know if the you. Trip. Like it was, yeah, yeah, the trip. I, I thought it was a, you know, I felt bad for Rod Brendamore last night. Like he did his best to. He's a very poised individual, and you know he was proud of his group. Talked about injuries. Talked about you know, listen, we got swept, but we were in every game, which he, which he wasn't wrong. You're in every game, but you just come up short. But he basically, and I, I would agree with him. Like you got to do something, and I know that you got to call penalties, and that's that's probably by the letter of the law a trip. But man, oh man! But like, they put the whistle away for so much other well, stuff. Well, that's what I that's what I mean. Areas. Like, I, I like just obviously, Lee like, fans are like, "What the hell?" But they're right. Yeah. Like that stall hit on Marner at the end of the game in Game Five was a joke. And the ref right. was looking at. It. He's like, "I'm not calling that." There's 30 seconds left. Then yeah. last night, I'm like, "Yeah, all right." Fine, <laughs> trip. And it's not like insane. the puck. That's insane. To it's call ridiculous. That. I, it's I, embarrassing, I, and it's what the NHL always does to themselves. It's always self-inflicted. They they're very selective with when yeah. we're going to actually call something. It'd be one thing if that puck popped into the front of the net and someone had a great opportunity, agreed. you know, agreed. or something yeah. like that. Okay, but it was still it was moving up the boards. It likely wasn't going to have any effect on anything, and you know they call it. And and listen, you know how I feel about review. I hate it. I hate right. it, and let, let me point this out. I thought, like, the exuberance of the moment and all that. But if you're going to have the rule, for me, Bennett Sticks in his – that's that should in not have groin. counted. <laughs> yeah. Like, that, that was blatant. Bennett Stick is in his pads. But that yeah. was a classic Brad Hall 99. They're like, what are we going to do? We're not calling this back. There's four seconds left. We won't get out of here alive. <laughs> like, his stick is in his pads. Yeah, I, I mean, I – Like, for all the ones that they've called, though, for okay. years. Like, if they you're, called you're right. that back on a Tuesday in November in the second period, you'd say, yeah, okay, of course. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're, you yeah, you're right. It's just uh, I, I've, gone, I've gotten to the point now where people say this all the time. What is pass interference? What is goaltender interference? Because mm -hmm. it's subjective. Yeah. It's subjective. Like, True. that's legitimately what we, what we are looking at. And I don't know if it's ever going to get better. Because it's the three of us can have a different opinion in looking at the exact same play. And I would think that all three of us have pretty good hockey backgrounds and have, you know, reasonable heads on our shoulders. But you're looking at something going, you're right, like, yeah, the stick is in there, you're like, messing with them a little bit. I just like, think there's no chance. It didn't matter. They're like, we're not, right. unless it's so egregious, they're like, we're not calling this back. Well, Kachuk just scored. It's a sweep. Everyone wants to go home. <laughs> well, I, I think, but that's where I come back to it. Like, I thought it was overtime. And then that call, I'm like, man, that's just a tough call. Yeah. Like, it just, uh, it is what it is. And the Florida Panthers and it's deserve sweep, to be. Right? Exactly. We love Rod Brindamore. Love Rod. Br and I know what he was driving at. It's yeah. a sweep, man. You got well, yeah, on, on paper, it's a sweep. There's, <laughs> there's nothing no, you can do about there's it. nothing yeah. you can do. It, so they were you <laughs> incredibly close games, but it's a sweep. Did you, did you think that was the equivalent of respect in the handshake line? Is well, that what you're saying? Uh, it, but it was towards his own team, right? Like he's, right. he's, and again, he's not wrong that every, like the first two went to overtime, the first one to the fourth overtime, and yeah. then the other two games were one goal games. And I thought right. Carolina was better in both. Like I, I, he's not wrong in terms of the analysis that it was very close. I think his message was simple. It could have gone either way, but the and, better team won. Basically, and, like is and, that not the message you got from that? I did, and I sure, also think he was pointing it to his players, saying like, "I'm proud of that group. We did. Yeah. You know what? You're right there. Um, it's unfortunate because you'd like to see if they were healthy. You know, maybe get one of those guys that that gets them over the top, but." Unfortunately, you will never know. And Florida is on a heater. They, they seem like they're a Cinderella story. Now, what happens? Can they finish it off? Because we always see these Cinderella stories go to the finals. But do they fizzle out or do they get to do they actually win? Well, like that's the, the, uh, the thing is, they're going to play likely Vegas. Yeah. Who, you know, there's a, an element of Cinderella to their run. They got Aiden Hill in the net, you know, and, and yeah. so I don't know. I don't see that. I don't see Florida getting run over. Um, but the nature of these playoffs have, have been very unpredictable.